Medi share me that see so waji bread now share a puto TV news so ewo ho ana e di bread we bomo din so be share na obe subscribe e di amai. Ghana that should be or my name now there is a certain future Ghana has got that Ghanaians or Ghana does not know. But on your member team here yet to be do for I'm working Ghana that should be a Ghana for me. But God can reveal the future of Ghana or the future of Ghanaians to His prophets, which will not be known by Ghanaians. And so you do not despise prophets. Neither do, do you um, banish prophets from the nation. Neither must you shut the mouth of prophets. So can't so she did for so she more money she come out. Oh my, any fra. Since our man no any any a did for our man no better be be a a a did for a did for a young couple ano. But we send my Yahoo. And so if you suppress prophets and you say the let prophets not speak, the, the nation becomes dumb. If you say let prophets not prophesy, the, the nation becomes blind because prophets are the mouthpieces of God. They are in fact the eyes of God. And so prophets carry a lot of weight. They are men of valor in the presence of God. And so let us protect our prophets. Bible say. Now the Bible said to cut a long story short. Samuel Esra Solongo. Now, to, to cut a long story short, Samuel anointed Saul. And the spirit of the Most High came upon Saul. Now, listen to this. Not just say Saul, in the morning, or Kenya, my body, a home. But not only in your me, in your shia. Now, so, or Kenya, my body, a home. Kami Pacho, so Kenya, my body, a home in Chelsea, winning your me. Now it means that though Saul was a creation of God, he was part of the creatures of God, he was part of the creation of God, he did not have um, a relationship with God. So the fact that you are a creation or part of the creation of God does not mean you have friendship with God. So nyame now when God wants to give you something. He gives you that thing through somebody. So nyami be man Ghana, good leader, or the best for the for this one. If if God is going to give Ghana a good leader, He is going to He is going to use a prophet to make Ghanaians know. Leaders ni bi ohanu mo, umu fiti asiye, e wo nyami pota yemu. But omu kuriya no me free na me pay. Now there are there are some of the leaders who start in the way of God. They start in the will of God, but along the way they drift from the way of God and from the will of God. So the spirit of the Lord came upon Saul through prophet. Samuel. And it was through the laying of hands of Prophet Samuel. Afei Saul umpo astate e yeni ya Samuel e yeni bi. No one so started so ashanko. A man kwa fuka se ah na Saul so so. What then you do for? Because iron suspended iron. Bema uji adi na minche. We are loyal. Ba upe umpe u. Acheri e o misu e bika tosso. E ya sa upe adi anwa. A two to sixteen. What well, what them high? I tell you, so what man? A bet two to sixteen. Ah, I tell that one. But some man you hold. Now it so happened. It so happened that that after Saul had someone had laid hands on, on Saul. It so happened that Saul also began to do the very things that Samuel was doing. He began to prophesy to the extent that people began to say that. Is Saul also amongst the prophets? Now, the mystery behind this is that iron sharpeneth iron. If you are iron and you are rubbing against iron, you are going to be, you are going to become a sharp edge. So the fact that 
by the grace of God, I am standing by the prophet. By, 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 by certain means, the oil on the prophet will rub also upon me and I receive it. Amen. Now listen to this very carefully. Ebra na Saul e yo sutie e ma Samuel no nyame bu amfu Saul da da bia ni a Samuel e be kan kire Saul na Saul ye ni sa nti Saul e ni Samuel e nante e na Samuel so so ni nyame nam but day ah Saul e ya so den ti a Samuel enu masem a na kuma mu o twe ni hu firi Samuel ho no Sadano and no yami in Safrinoso. And to so yami man or beautiful. Nessa who disobey the words from that prophet. Now I come and move or reject us our prophet now. On yami so reject you. So don't reject your prophet until our yami will reject you. Now, now God continue to be with someone. Sorry, God continued to be with Saul so long as Saul was obedient to the instructions of God. And so, anytime Saul obeyed the instructions of God, which Samuel gave to Saul, God continued to be with him. But the moment he dis disobeyed the instructions of God, which God gave to Samuel and Samuel gave to Saul, God rela God's relationship, God's relationship with Saul was what was broken. Now, the mystery behind this is that. Do not reject your prophet. When you reject your prophet which God has given to you, you, you are invariably rejecting God and you are breaking the relationship you have got with God. Saul, Eya Swadin, Etia Samuel, Ehono Nyankopon, Boni Timu Pose, Maji Ahini Enefrini Nsebe. Now, when Saul disobeyed the instruction of Samuel, God intended in his mind and in his heart that I have taken the kingdom because on your me still or poor man true prophet and prophet in the social poor man true soul now it it was the case that god was still ruling the people but he was ruling the people through the prophet and the prophet was also ruling the nation through saul the leader because, because our man is a because the people urged on God to give them a leader. When my dear, you strange. Now you know what is strange about this. Before, before we proceed to, before we proceed to, let us learn this. 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 Let us learn this is God. He is absolutely God. Forever yeah. God. You are the Jesus, no? No challenger. Mm. I like and that. there is no challenger. Uni. Apart from say, Samuel ne saw the Shia, the Ark prophet. Now, apart from the fact that Samuel had an encounter with Saul, Mama ya ketua, Amma. Odifo Samuel asra Saul ngo wasra ne ngo and pe um pe wadi asra no odi agunu so and no odi gunu so o fo se twon owe no sane ne we nam meet ni na e woni a chire and the fact that the fact that Samuel had an encounter with Saul and Samuel anointed Saul if whether he liked it or not he anointed him and after that he sat at a table with him and they ate meat together. Why you do for them? Odi for some man was right. I'm a baby leader. And you're not sitting up a power. Or some odi for them on you. Now it means. It means. That through the hand of the prophet. Through the hand of the prophet. You have been elevated to a certain, a certain position. And you have, you have sat at the table of the prophet. And. You have eaten the meat of the prophet. What it means is that when you get to the place of glory, you must reciprocate. Bonsema Yehoah. Eti me pa chao. Ena se me ma na mriya. Na afro akonyakesi ena. Me maru e free me. Because 
Every time I know in a memo, be ready. And to swing your number, my miss me being me. So, so if you have eaten my meat, a word to a wise is enough. <laughs> if you have, you have eaten my meat before you were elevated or you go to the place of elevation, now that you are in a place of glory and honor, give me meat to eat. A yana so show the info bar, yeah, this so. Who show the info bar? This so. Eh, a bra na wa hu chire ma wo she ebo. Wo fi a hu chire. Ebo she nu mi so. Sa wo tie mi preaching ya. Me pa cho di so. Na me hwa ni mu. Me pa cho di so. Di so. Now the boss here no so. Wo na she ebo no enti di so. If you have made a vow. If you have made a vow unto the prophet. When you were in some constraints, you made a vow. Now that you have you have come out from your constraints. Ensure that you fulfill your vow. Huh? Eh, yes, sir. Any Samuel pet, and no more, no more, no no. But yeah, yeah, baby, 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 me pa so enu ti na me ka no di so e bi a me faru nti mi me ma woni mu me ka ti me de su akasa fi die yi so me pa so mo amon hwa no mu ko yi nti na no no hwa no ni so ma hwa ni mu ache oni fu o oni so be me na di so be me ni mo nyamfu e di so na wa na aka e di so bon se me rade se mo ko Okay. Now, now the encounter <clears throat> now the encounter between the encounter between Samuel and Saul, though it happened in private, it was recorded in the Bible, and so we have learned from it. And we have heard of it but it has it has happened or it may have happened can we have some some quiet please wait 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 no man can't answer her. And no one can to jump through but as a couple of people who are Obey me, come on. But that man can. Obey me, na me ha el cha el kum. Na me ha. Eti wan kase etri mua. Me dasi. That's all. That's all. To us. Now, that's all. What happened between Samuel and Saul happened in private. But because it is recorded in the Bible, we have learned lessons from it. Now there may have been some uh, some chances where somebody has met with the man of God or met with the prophet and made a vow in secret and even though he has received the prophet or he has received what he wanted he has forgotten about the man of God or forgotten about the prophet but if you are sitting under the sound of my voice or you are watching me wherever you may, you may be watching me from I want to say to you that you, ma you must honor your vow you have made to the prophet. Bonsema lawyer. Now, Bible said, Samuel asra song. Now the Bible said, Samuel anointed Saul. And no man is a kotuaba. And the nation cast their lots. They As went to the ballots. A man is kotuaba. The nation went to the ballots. Nami asofo. Omo kotu abano a na oma na to abano ama so because o so wa nyame anka sesane a so so wa no e onu na israel for beto ama no ye ni musuban ba do so wa enti ye ntoma no now when the people went to cast their lots they chose a man who was huge and tall god knew that they were going to choose somebody who was huge and and tall but God said it before 
it happened now the people chose the man but they did not know the character of the man but they made their choice in anyway. time no here philistine for only the also in those they days say, in those days the leaders of the philistines were huge and tall they were also giant like yeah, also. people and so the people of israel also craved for a giant like leader and so God knew that the desire of the people Samuel. the desire of the people was to have a leader who was huge and tall and so God made someone anoint a man who was huge and tall Minuyanum say monarchy and a year juma so in that era it was the monarchs who were leading na se ohini ebetna konya so sabre no in those times when the king sits on his throne na so ye old ana so free mo a ye mana bakan in the big jina ohini na na ne de sa na bakan no atena ahemfo akonya ne so so in those days when the king becomes old or the king is no more that is he has joined his ancestors the first son of the king becomes the eligible candidate to replace his father the first born in the taking a position as a president or king or leader and so, or ruler and so when a king rules for years and has become old or he is he is dead his first son takes over the affairs of the kingdom and becomes the king instead of his of his of his father i believe say be a brain tea na ya into me and call democracy so and i'm brain tea into the mama and conclude her near me and next week you know you may be democracy now because of time we may not be able to move to democracy and deal with it extensively so we are going to end here and we continue if god permits next week i mean i'm next week you know so god willing next week we will proceed from where i've just ended and we'll move on to democracy and we'll move on to the and where God wants us to reach. So you must know that the nation went out to cast their lots. It means that casting lots or going to the ballot to cast your vote is a, is a, is a thing of old. Oma, I take a decision, but still, yes, so they took a decision, but that decision was not without the involvement of god so they had um, rejected in fact cast a vote of no confidence in the theocratic system of government and they wanted a monarchical system of government but still god was involved in that system now of next government. week remember who say even democracy is so and I'll, next week i'll let you know that even with the democratic system of government god is so much involved so se ofria konya so a e ne first born no so tena so so sa ne first born no ananka eye jonathan no and no so so fra konya no so se ne ono so ba first born na ja sa dia ne de e da busu a we mu adam sa age biribisi na biribisi mpo no nyame na mambia se da mu sa no no age o nyame ba mbi to o nyame de wuyi ni free amanyo semu ni amamu o mu ene ahinie presidency kingship and our kingdoms enye yie now by 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 all natural means after the demise of saul his first son ought to have taken over the throne and after the death of the first son his first son would have taken over and would have continued till the end 
that that is how it is so 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 if in a particular family until something happens and until it shifts to another lineage it the kinship continues in a particular lineage until something happens finally adie biara a onyame sawom kendimi biara a onyame ne ne nam na sifo ye nhira oni pe biara a o ye kendifo a o ne awrade benante no wi ye nhira emu asefo o man nyina ye nhira enti e very very important enti me pesa me kama moti asia se o man yi enya de a ye a christofo ejidifo nyamsomfo ye be jemu because ye nyankopon and all upper hand san say ye ye 80% although ye nuanom aka nyina ye no mu nyina e ba ko o man mu na nsu sunsun mu ye ne asase sun kene na san kene ira ne da e hu ye biem agi sie hwiegu mani patietia so na ye mpene amen kene nyira ne de e wo man mu bon sema ye hu me de me preach na be ye ye meto aso na su now hallelujah now any leader that has a relationship with God. God make God will make you prosper and your descendants also will prosper. And so long as it is our God who is in charge over the, the who is at the helm of affairs, then we are going to continue to take control. Amen. <laughs>